this sense of no human being should live in an unconsecrated space is something which is deep-rooted in this culture because it is just like if you plant something into this earth, only if the roots are sticking into a rich earth will the flower and the fruit come out. If the earth into which these roots are sticking in are not… is not rich enough, is not enhanced enough to sustain life, flower and fruit will not come, even if it comes it will be too meager. It will never be a full-blown flowering, it will never be a full-blown fruiting of the plant. So always these aspects, we paid enormous… Imp gave enormous importance to these aspects of life. It's not just about what you eat, it's not just about what kind of work you do, what kind of space you live in. This is very important in the East. So, people always consecrated their homes in whichever way they know best and only then moved in. If the kings were sensible and benevolent, they consecrated the whole town. This created any number of places in the town so that the whole town is consecrated. He wants everybody to live in consecrated spaces. If you walk on the street, if you do business, if you live in that town, everyone must constantly live in consecrated space because if you want to produce generations of enhanced human beings, you need this kind of space. Otherwise, only by accident or by personal dint, somebody may become something, you won't produce a generation of beautiful people. This culture produced a galaxy of knowledge, a galaxy of enlightened beings. Every generation produced this simply because they took care of any number of aspects like this. Nowhere else on this planet, have single generations of people risen to such glorious heights of knowing as this culture has known. But all that got fractured in the last few hundred years, in the last eight hundred to nine hundred years, this got badly fractured because of invasions and displacement of people and so many things. You can produce very great intellects, very great energy as human beings, I'm saying. Individual human beings carrying phenomenal sense of energy and intellect and capability. If you create large spaces of consecrated space, large consecrated spaces where the whole generation of people are in touch with that kind of energy in space, this fortune almost every family had because before they moved into homes, they did this. Periodically they did something to enhance the house. This is part of almost every house. Every household at least once a year conducted the needed rituals and processes to see that the space in the house is enhanced. A basic understanding or rather an essential understanding of how to generate a conducive atmosphere for a human being to grow to his full potential 